Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? You know what happened? I just uh, recorded the other two cards, right? And then I did a uh, revert, discard a change on my the source code, and uh, all the changes I made to the other two card is gone. And for this part is gone, and for entire this thing is gone. So I rewrote again. Okay. So some of the naming can, naming might be different from the video, but the logic is the same. Okay. So in this exercise, we are gonna do is to refactor the code, because here we have uh, this part of the code, this part of code, and this code is uh, duplicated, which we don't want. And another thing which I don't like uh, is this part. I really don't like this one, which inside then I have this one, and uh, I don't like. The one we can do is using async await. Okay, so first uh, let's fix this, the first issue, which is this duplicate. We can do is yes, do like this one. Since uh, our, this cart item, by default, here going to be an empty array, right? So I can, I'm safe to do this, to do this one. Okay. I'm safe, which means if, if this one, if is existing, is uh, greater than zero, which means uh, it's not uh, minus one. It means it's already exist. If it's already exist, I do this part, right? And for all other cases, for all other cases, I just do this. Oh, sorry, sorry. If it's already existing, I will do this part. Okay. Right. Just update the quantity. And if for all other cases, what I can do is just do this part. Push, right? Push inside. But this push, I have to add plus one. Okay which is because if the first time the price inside the, gonna be zero, so we just add it. And otherwise we just uh, update, right? So by doing that, we can remove all others, this piece of code, okay? And again, this piece of information is repeated. So we will move to the end. This one move to the end, okay? And this one we're gonna delete, okay? And also, we can do is yes, also refactor here. We can do is yes, this one. Dot quantity. Okay. If existing, we change the change the quantity to be plus one. And otherwise, we're gonna do is yes, push this quantity inside, and then we change the total price to add the current price. Then we do a save, right? So after refactor, it's gonna match uh, uh, less, less code, right? Let's see if it works or not, okay, after this refactoring. And what you can do, you can also remove this one to using this data card, this data card, this card, okay, if you want, okay. So now let's, uh, let me do is I will remove this product, uh, re user, I'm gonna using the first user, okay? First user. Cancel and I'm gonna change my app.js so we can start from a fresh copy, okay? And now I will do is to uh, go our product here and click the shopping cart, click this one. Hey, something is not working after I do it. What I did. Use a validation total price. Cast a number, cast a two number failure. Ah, ah, do you know this one? This one is because uh, uh, this part. Because at the beginning, at the beginning, if uh, uh, the first time the total price gonna be uh, NAN, and uh, we are trying to add on NAN, that's why it caused this issue. So we have to fix here. So, what can we fix? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, we can do yes. 
if uh, if uh, we have to fix this case if the card price this one not okay uh, JavaScript using true C and a false C, right? So we will give card price uh, equals to product price. Okay. We are assigned to this one. Okay. We will change to be zero. Let's just using zero. Okay. And otherwise, then if it's uh, if the first time, okay, we add a product, then NAM is a false C. Not a false C gonna be true. True is gonna go inside, it gonna assign to zero, and then it's gonna go to add this one, okay. And if it's not the first time, the price is already has a value, so it's gonna be choosy, and not choosy gonna be forcey, so it's gonna skip this one and it's gonna go here, okay. So now let's do okay. Uh, let's go to our add to cart, okay, here, and then add to cart, okay, because I, I, I changed the, my code here. I using go to your shopping cart because we don't display right so it is say see this one okay but it's actually add to our shopping cart uh, database successfully let's see here this one cart you can see the price and uh, we see the items right one item now I click the same item again same item click okay and go to the shopping cart database and go go 60 and steal one and change the quantity right and if i add another one add another one and add another one so it should have three uh, products in our shopping cart right see here uh, you should have three products quantity two quantity one and quantity one if i add one more okay sorry if i add one more if I click another JS or more, you should have a two product as a quantity is two, right? So refresh here, go inside here, see quantity two, quantity one, and this one quantity two. Okay. So after that, we refactoring this part is successful, right? Which is user, which is to add to shopping cart successful. Okay. This is the one I want to refactor, and there's another one I want to refactor is here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this part. Okay, so I do, what I'm trying to do is uh, I will trying to using async and await to see if it works. Okay, uh, uh, this is gonna be how about I make another video for about uh, async and await. Otherwise, this video gonna be very long. Okay, so that's it for this video, and uh, I'm gonna make another async await to refactor this piece of code. They further here and also connect to here. Okay, I don't like this part. Okay, uh, see you in my next video. Bye bye.